In this short video clip, I want to show you how to use um, set block and adjust block in Hiasis. First, we'll add some components here as an example, like I'll add nitrogen and water as well. And then these will be our components that we're going to work with. And I'm going to use a float package as well. I'll choose PRSV. And we can now enjoy the simulation environment. So here I want to show you first what a dust block is and what it does um, in our simulation. Uh, consider that we have a valve and a separator here. So if I choose this from our list, I will just name this as 1 and the outlet is 2. And we will have a separator here and we'll choose 2 as the inlet and we'll call the vapor outlet as vapor and the liquid outlet is liquid so uh, let's consider that we have this feed at 100 degrees centigrade 1200 kilopascal and 100 Kilomoles per hour. And the composition will be, let's say, 50% nitrogen, 50% water. So, what I want to set is the um, delta P for this valve in a way that I would get a certain temperature at the outlet of this separator. So, if I, for example, set this at 100 kilopascal, I will get 98.55 degrees centigrade for this vapor. But let's say that we want 85 degrees centigrade instead of 98. So we can use adjust block to set the, uh, del the delta P of this valve in a way that we would get 85 degrees centigrade at the outlet. So I would choose this block, which has an A on it. So this is adjust block. Now here you can um, set the um, adjusted variable. So the one here, the adjusted variable, will be the delta P of the valve. So I choose this valve, and then I choose delta P, or pressure drop. And then I would set the target variable, which is the temperature of this stream called vapor. So I would choose this stream, and the variable will be temperature. Now, first, I will, I will set these parameters because you have to um, specify the minimum and maximum for this adjust block. So I'll just put like 10 kilopascals as the minimum and 1,000 kilopascals as the maximum. And I would set the maximum iterations to 100 so that it would do the job for us. Now, let's go back to the connections tab. There, I would specify the temperature that I'm looking for. So, I would set this temperature to 85. And now, if you start, you can see that this adjust block has set this delta P in a way that we would get 85 degrees centigrade in the outlet. So that you can see that the temperature is 85.02, and the delta P is 693.6. So this is how just block works. Now, what I want to show you is to how how to use set block and adjust block. So let's say we have a mixer, for example, here, and let's say we have water and nitrogen, and we have a mixture in the atom. Now, we would know that this water, the composition of this water should be all water, so the mole fraction of water is 1 here, and nitrogen is 0. Also, let's say that the conditions, for example, are, like temperature would be 100, and pressure, let's say, 100 kilopascal, and the molar fluoride, I would set it to, for example, 20 kilomoles per hour. Now, um, for nitrogen, first let's um, determine the composition. So nitrogen will be all nitrogen, so the mole fraction would be 1. 
and for the conditions, let's say the temperature of this one is 25. The pressure, I would set it to 100 again. And by the molar flow rate, I won't set it right now. I want to use a set block to do that. So let's say that we know that the um, uh, the um, molar flow rate of nitrogen is twice of, of water. So if we have 20 kilomoles per hour here in water, this one should be 40. But because we want to have this um, this ratio throughout all the process, and if we want, to, for example, to do a case study, we don't want to change this manually, so we want to use a set block to do that for us. So if you click on the set block, you can set the target variable as the molar flow rate of nitrogen. So we can choose nitrogen and its molar flow rate. And then we can choose the source as water. And it is done, but by default, the multiplier in this set block is 1. It means that it would uh, give nitrogen uh, the same molar flow rate as water. So if we choose nitrogen, you will see that it is 20 kilomoles per hour as well, because water is 20. Now, we want this to be twice the molar flow rate of water. So we can change the multiplier here. So if I change that, so you can see that x here represents the the molar flow rate of water, and y represents the molar flow rate of nitrogen. So if I set this multiplier to two, then it will give you 40 more kilomole per hour for nitrogen. Now let's say um, because of this molar flow rate, of course, the temperature is now 70.49. Now, let's say that we want the temperature of this mixture to be set at a um, certain temperature, let's say um, 60. So in order to do that, you can use an adjust block. And then just the adjusted variable here is the um, multiplier of this set block. So if you choose this set block and choose the, mul the multiplier, it will be our adjusted variable. And the target variable can be the temperature of this mixture. So let's choose that, this mixture and its temperature. We would set the parameter as, let's say, for example, 1 to 100, with 100, like iterations. So now if you go back to the connections tab, you can set this temperature as you want. So let's say 60. And now I can see that the temperature is now 60 here, and the multiplier is 3.68. So if we choose that, the temperature would be 60 as desired. And this is how we can use just block and set block.